Let me pick up your thoughts on education curriculum because um, you've had the experience of studying elsewhere and what happens here. The belief yeah. is we're not there in terms of the structures. Right. Mm -hmm. y your thoughts on that? Right. Um, so this is a really good question for me because actually I'm, I'm the chair of the, the, the sector skills body that advises um, uh, government on technical, or technical and vocational education, technical universities speci specifically. So we're doing work around curriculum redesign for computer science. Um, one of the big things for, <laughs> for me was when, we, when I first, I took time to read the ICT curriculum, this is JSS in secondary school, and I recognize where our problems are started from. Because uh, our curriculums uh, on, on even lower levels just teaches kids Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, how to use technologies. Um, here is a save button. We're not teaching them how to think innovatively. We're not teaching them how to build. And so that's where we have a, a big problem. And then we look at the university curriculums, and a lot of them are um, five, six years behind. And so part of what we've done on that, on that board is to bring private sector together with public sector and the, the lecturers and the university lecturers when we design curriculums. So it's 10 people in the room, but half of those people are employers, people who know the skills that they want. And so when we design, when the, that curriculum is then designed and implemented, then you some the person who's coming out of university is useful to the employer. Mm -hmm. Or you're having somebody that's coming out, who's coming out that has been taught a language that was outmoded five years ago, and he mm -hmm. has to teach himself, and the, the, the graduate is not useful. So that's a... A lot of it, there has, for the lower levels, there has to be a, a radical overhaul of what we're teaching the kids. Um, and on the higher levels, there is an overhaul going on right now, um, at least for the computer science side of things. And slowly, hopefully, we'll get to a place where we, our, the quality of our uh, graduates from university match up with anywhere else in the world.